a day. Twelve dollar Tuesday. It sucks generally. Today it was no different. Well, I mean, it could have been worse than it was, I suppose. But boy. work with this one guy. I don't like him. He's bad at his job. Anyway, alrighty, I'm going to play Deponia again, because it's fun. And uh, I'm just going to uh, put up a chat here. And then I can close this window. And then I can go over here and click on Deponia. Oh shit, I think I... Did I turn off Steam? I don't think I... No, I didn't. Good. Welcome to Deponia. Alright, continue. So the last thing that we figured out was that uh, the last thing that we figured out was the battery. We open the hood, and now there's a battery that so uh, much power in such a heap of junk. What a waste! But I can't get out. <clears throat> oh, I can't remove it. But how do I get access to the power that's harbored within them? I can't leave just yet. Uh, let's see. All right. Oh yeah, no yeah, I didn't close today, so uh, we finished the rush, I did a bunch of cleaning off the 8 o'clock list, then I was like, hey, the only thing left to do is sweep, which Ian always does, so can I go? <laughs> I'm, I'm scheduled for 38 hours this week, so I don't think an hour and 45 minutes is going to kill me, you know? <sighs> okay. That way is Tony's house. What do I have in my inventory? Funnel. A dud. A dart. A hand torch. A funnel. And a ticket. Sure, let's go to Wenzel's house. Yeah, no. Also, my room is not nearly as soundproofed as it could be. That's, listen, that is through a closed door. Wenzel. What's up? I want my heirloom back. A deal is a deal. Oh, come on. We're friends, aren't we? And friends stay true to their word. Oh, yeah? And that's written down where exactly? Just forget it. By the way, you're holding up the line. So what? As long as I haven't found a water vein, I don't even have to show up. Later. Exactly. <laughs> if my impeccable sense of orientation doesn't fail me, I should be under the shower right now. Oh, it's attached firmly. Okay. I know, right? What an asshole. You know there's a second game? There's a second game. 
Uh, oh, I can heat the furnace. Oh, it's attached firmly. Seriously? The furnace? Oh, it's attached firmly. Listen. I don't even know what they're watching, but I'm annoyed with how, lo how loud their laughter is. So you can't really do much in Wenzel's house. I suppose there's a chance that we could go back. Let's go to Tori's shop, why not? Anchors, metal boots, hooks, all the things you need if you want to stay moored forever. What was that again about the gift vouchers? They're gift vouchers. You hand them in at the post office, and they deliver the merchandise. And no, you can't have them as a gift. Then why are they called gift vouchers? There isn't even one crumb left. Seems like I have to find my own ingredients. And when he does, you and me have already healed myself. All right, calm down out there. Everyone on my stream can hear you. Ironically, they cannot hear me. Hold on, hold on one sec. Myself up a little something, something. Uh, yes. What are you picking yourself up? Uh, probably just a something that's not so well. A drink of uh, vitamin water. Uh, Any cash? Not enough. Hey. I was just about to start the dishes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ten thirty-five. Ten thirty-five. Okay, I'll just think of it as. Whoa, whoa. Okay. Ten thirty-five. Ten thirty-five. Like it's ten thirty-five. Yeah. The time is. The time is ten thirty-five. Time is ten thirty-five. All right. It's not even like it's the door, right? The door. Like I would need a new door, and what even is the point? Cause like. We're trying to leave this junk hole anyway. Much, I, I relate to this little, this guy on a very specific level. I'm trying to leave <laughs> this. Yeah, I know you did. <laughs> I, 
I know. <laughs> but, uh, did you hear Rick saying hi? I know he did. Anyway, so, all right. Anything back here? Just her? I wanted to say goodbye before I leave this dump. New escape plans, have we? You are deluded. You'll never get out of here. Never, ever, ever. And that means I'll have you on my back for the rest of my life. Jeez. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. I've got to go. <sighs> I've been saying that for years, but here you still are. Star Killer, what's up? thing is still going. Nope, I already picked up everything that was of interest here. called Deponia. I don't know if you've ever heard of it. <laughs> World domination, obviously. should not be buying soda by the way. I have just enough, I had just enough money to pay rent and so all of, the only thing coming out of next, the next paycheck which drops tomorrow would have been uh, the mattress payment and my insurance which went down by ten dollars. So you know, don't tell them that. Well, I think it's because it was originally supposed to be, originally my bill was supposed to be $94 or $93 or whatever, and then I hit pigs. So it took the premium up to $114, which is fine. So now I'm back to normal levels, but it's up from what it would have been. So now it's 105 And next year it'll be 114 And uh, life will be restored to normal. Okay. So. Deponia, this planet is a trash planet. There's like trash everywhere. There's fucking trash. It's just all about. And this guy is trying to leave, and he's also just the biggest trash hole. <laughs> Detonation plane. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Let's take a look. 
Let's see. I mean, but is there a specific, oh, yeah, it's so much trash, even the trash he doesn't want, that's true. supposed to be is Lonzo building a cactus press or a faster mixer impossible he would surely have asked me to help poor Lonzo he'll be lost without me when I'm gone yeah I right. let's try to go to the town hall and see if there's anything else I can get there I don't want to ring that bell unless I absolutely have to I hate lines. The post office will be open o'clock. O'clock? What o'clock? There's something missing here. This doesn't have to be uh, <laughs> waited on, but a boom. <laughs> oh, goal! I have to talk to her. She's got to know who her savior is. That. Rufus, do you have to snoop around here? Hi, Inspector Gizmo. That's Dr. Gizmo. As you know, I hold all three positions in this emergency station. And right now, I'm a doctor. And as a doctor, I have the right to ask, why are you bothering my patient? She's an acquaintance of mine. I wanted to see how she's doing. Her name is Gold. Oh, <laughs> the Elysian is an acquaintance of yours, eh? Very funny. Well, as long as your lacking sense of reality doesn't keep me from doing my job, knock yourself out. Look after your acquaintance, but make it snappy.
That's enough. What the you, fuck? What? Come on. Enough daydreaming for today. My patient needs rest. Well, at least I guess that she needs rest. In order to know for sure, she would have to wake up first. She's unconscious. What's wrong with her? What does she need? To be more conscious, obviously. For further tests, she would have to be awake. Unfortunately, none of my remedies seem to work. Well, how about some really strong coffee? Ha! The coffee that could be of help here needs to be brewed. Doesn't every coffee need to be brewed? Yes, right, but... Hey, not to worry, Dr. Gizmo. I have a plan. Do the world a favor and spare us your plans, Rufus. Your wacky plans have never done anyone any good. Except that the mayor granted me a larger file cabinet for patients' histories. Sick burn. How peacefully she sleeps. This calls for extra strong coffee. Hey, gold, gold, wakey, wakey. <laughs> Fast asleep. Very good diagnosis, doctor. Oh, well, you know, it's just that I'm an expert in uh, <laughs> sleep. The balloons seem to have been stored here for quite a while. I wonder what occasion they're meant for, and why my face is on some of them. Gizmo is a doctor, police officer, and firefighter all at once. On his best days, he has to change professions every other second. <laughs> Dr. Gizmo? What now? I want to report an emergency. An emergency? What is it? <laughs> Robbery! Impossible. My theft protection sensors would already have detected the emergency. You have built-in theft protection sensors? All emergency prevention tasks are united in one person, and that's me, as you very well know. A small village like Kuvak is just not big enough to have a doctor's practice, a fire department, and a police station separately. Or at least, that's what I thought. Ever since you turned eight, I'm not so sure about that anymore. Weird. No emergency. My bad. If you say so, it sounds too good to be true. Man. You have the amaretto and the Kahlua? Yes. I need a drink. <laughs> One second. I had the amaretto and the Kahlua. Oh, okay. He, he closed the door and put them in front of the door. That scared the crap out of me. I thought he stored them in the little cubby hole. No. <laughs> No, he did not. Would you make me one? Yes, yeah, sure. Because that soda's not going to be cold enough to drink right away. Thank you. Do you have a stimulant for me? To make you even more annoying? I don't think so. I've used up most of the stimulants on the patient, but to no avail. I still have some left in the medicine cabinet in my office, but no one except me is allowed to access it. We'll see about that. What was that? Uh, time for me to leave. That's what I keep telling you. Well, thanks for your time. You're welcome. Hmm. Not literally. Rude. 
part, I will be drinking some delicious milk. It may be an off-brown color, and I assure you that that is chocolate. Emergency station is closed for lunch? Oh, great. Well, what if there's an emergency now? My nuclear power propelled satellite could crash into Kuvac, or the Grizzlies could break free from my treadmills. I mean, isn't anyone thinking on their feet here? This is his office. <laughs> oh. oh, great. My nuclear ore, I mean, Fine, I guess I'll just blast some shit. See what happens. Right. I actually think that needs to give it to me. I think I need to go here. signal take cover imminent blast got him in yeah yeah <laughs> sorry my room is a disaster yeah don't worry mine's not much better but it is better <laughs> <laughs> thanks Tony <laughs> Appreciate it. <laughs> Have a good one. Thanks for the milk. <laughs> oh, oh, that's some good chocolate milk. <laughs> Savage, yes. Yes, it was. I can report a fire now. Dr. Gizmo? What now? I want to report an emergency. An emergency? What is it? Fire! Impossible! My fire protection sensors would already have detected the emergency. You have built-in fire protection sensors? Yes, ever since you turned eight years old, you little brat. That was my last birthday with my dad. I got a cake. I think I even remember the fireworks. I remember them too. Incredible how much you achieved with just eight candles. Robbery! Impossible! My theft! You all small or ever since... I have this unusual. You should rest in bed at home. So get lost. No emergency. My bad. If you say so, it sounds too good to be true. Well, thanks for your time. You're welcome. <laughs> Not literally. to light up all the little lights.
blast signal. No, I, I have milk. Take cover! Imminent blast! I, I have milk. Besides, the soda will be cold enough. Signal. Take cover! Imminent blast! <laughs> hmm. Come in! Ah, I'm starving! Oh no, I thought you knocked on my door. Nice parrot. Yes, we use it to detect. Oh, we get. Huh? You oh, my nuclear. I mean, huh? You my nuclear ore. I mean, it. I found such a thing in the junk just now. <laughs> Funny, right. It's not that I've been searching for that for ages or anything. Why, that would be a real downer, wouldn't it? Those things are all over the place. <laughs> well, that's fun. I found <laughs> it's not why that those things are <laughs> Maybe I'm supposed to blow up the water? Come in! How do you think I'm going to write on Coke too? Mm. Too sweet. Yeah. Here's your card. You got two cases of Coke sitting in the back fridge getting cold. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. I would have given you one, but it's not cold. Yeah, no. That's <laughs> why uh, Toby made me a drink. <laughs> So I'm good. You can tell me was us like Amaretto Matthew? No, I'm good. Amaretto Matthew? No, I'm good. Amaretto! <laughs> 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 Maybe I gotta do all three of the bottom ones, like to stabilize the base of power, you know, type deal. Maybe I have to blow up the water tower. Oh, oh the blizzard. The blast signal. Take cover! Imminent blast! Maybe 
maybe I have to do, let's see, maybe if I, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. maybe I gotta do, let's see, here's Razel, and there's Tori, and there's Vice Town. No, not that's one. That's not. Mm -hmm. Boom. Oh, the blast signal. Take cover! Imminent blast! I mean, it's like the wasabi peas. I can blow this place up as much as I want because nothing is going to go bad. Nothing's going to happen until I... I've got to go. Hi, Betty. Hello? I want to report a crime. Hello? Great. Inspector Gizmo seems to be out. But as soon as you accidentally drop the town elder's cane in the cesspool, he's right behind you. Uh, I'll give it another try later. Oh. Okay, so maybe I gotta blow shit up and then access the emergency pump. Cool, I can do that. Oh, the blast signal. Yes, I can. Hello? I want to report a crime. Hello? Great. Inspector Gizmo seems to be out, but as soon as you accidentally drop the town elders... Uh, I'll give it a... Wenzel has attached a protective cover to... What an egomaniac! Where am I supposed to practice spitting now? My inventory could burn, and Tony is not going to mend it again. Okay, any suggestions? What about the water reservoir? Like, blow it up? Oh, like... 
What do you mean? Just go there and there's- a, Oh yeah, no, the pulley drops water into this little spigot right here. That's it. That's all it does. something important here. Can't go there yet. So if I can go there and see if there's anything. No, I already did. All I got from there was a dart. the sun. idea, Rufus. What could a lonesome bull crave more than a well-chilled glass of gnat's piss? Okay, I'll use the cow. Main thing is that it worked. I can still hear Tony's laughter. I'll never try riding a bull in love ever again. That's below my class. You have to be age 12. Oh, that's better. The bull's spirits really need to be pumping before I ride it. eyes for the cow. <laughs> that would certainly upset the bull, but not enough, I'm afraid. Oh, there must be an easier way to... <laughs> that would certainly... But not enough. <laughs> that would... But not enough, I'm... Take the balloons. I tried taking the balloons. I guess I could try again.
The balloons seem to have been stored here for quite a while. I wonder what occasion they're meant for, and why my face is on some of them. I did already take the magnets. They're attached to the uh, blasting screen. That's how I've been making them blow shit up. This reminds me of the fireworks last New Year's Eve. The plan with the balloons was just great. It was uh, <laughs> just on the wrong day. That's no fun with empty balloons. This reminds me of the fire. The plan with the it was. Uh, say that I don't know anything about that now. Oh. I see. I don't think there was an option in that conversation. Tree, but I'll check. Lonzo. Yeah. Long time no see, Lonzo. Long time indeed. Anything new? Hey, you know how Kubek is. Nothing ever happens in Kubek. Yep, without me, this place would be dead. Well, without you, there would be fewer explosions. I know that much. It must be pretty sad for all of you that I'll be gone soon. It's almost unbearable. Almost. Do you have something that can give someone a real boost? Since when are you ordering coffee? Did you break Tony's coffee machine again? How often do I have to tell you that you don't filter oil that way? No, this is not about simple coffee. I need something that really, really gets you awake. A kind of ultimate pick-me-up. Lonzo, are you okay? Okay, just forget I ever asked. I'm off. No, no, wait a minute. I think I know exactly what you need. This is the moment I've been waiting for. Hey, wow. You have pipes, tanks, valves? It's a, it's a, it's a thing. 
This is an espresso machine. But this is not just any old espresso machine. This is the mother of all espresso machines. I tuned it myself. And you wound ribbons into its hair? Indeed, I did. <laughs> okay, but one question remains. What exactly is this espresso? Well, to be honest, I'm not sure myself. I think it's a kind of highly concentrated coffee. The people of prehistoric times drank it. Uh-huh. And then they forgot to switch the machine <laughs> off. <laughs> I see. I built the compressor, following all the instructions that I found. Unfortunately, the pictures were pretty blurry, but I think I figured out what ingredients are needed. Take the recipe. It's right next to you on that bar stool. If you bring me these ingredients, we can start brewing. In the meantime, I'll have found my life insurance policy. I hope. Ho, 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 ho! I'm so excited! <laughs> what a scrawl. Okay. I need clear, reviving, and energy-rich water. The coffee powder must be black, stimulating, and made from hot beans. It, hmm, none of these things can be found in Cuba. Ah, never mind, though. Being a master improviser, I bet I can find plenty of alternatives. Oh, no. Oh, no. Boy. Well, I need the hot pepper. Was that? Oh, the emergency station has opened again. Oh, that must mean I can choose the more daring options now. Huh. Locked. Distrust everywhere. It's laughing gas. Dissecting scalpel. I don't see what this will be good for. I mean, I already have enough holes in my teeth. Uh. This could come in handy with my next amputation. Dr. Gizmo says Wenzel's toe could have been saved with non-corroded tools. Mind now. Sure, let's pull the lever. <laughs> Gizmo isn't here. That means I can fiddle around with his occupation modes unnoticed. Cool. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> it looked much lighter lying in that cupboard. Since the retirement home sunk into the ground, they don't let me work in the trash mines for community service anymore. Huh, maybe our system of justice is working after all. Handcuffs in a scale. That must be a symbol for, uh, <laughs> overloaded metaphors. I'll save my telekinetic powers for later. It's too heavy to lug around. Doesn't matter though, because I'm always cautious. Work gloves? Yeah, <laughs> Gizmo is such a wimp.
There's a hole in the platform. I'll save my telekinetic. Just reach up and grab it. You bastard. The clown amongst the anesthetics. <laughs> clown. Too heavy to lug around. Doesn't matter though, because I'm always cautious. Mm -hmm. It's too heavy to lug around. Doesn't matter though, because I'm always. Too heavy, doesn't because boy, how often did people around me carry that thing screaming like babies? Too heavy to lug around, doesn't because sure, okay, so you can't put it back. <sighs> All right. No great in the world can hold me back. Except this one, right? There, it moved while you were blinking. Mm -hmm. Luckily, I'm a gifted lock picker. Damn, that would have been a piece of cake with the right tool. Oh. Lock the fire hatch. Sorry, okay, hold on. Hold on. One second, I'll get the, uh... Back. Uh, lock the fire hatch. 
I mean, like how? Fetters weren't so wide. I could attach them to the hole over there. Ah, but they are too wide. Oh, I can collect the chili pepper now. Yay. Uh... Although I could hit them for sure, I'll never be able to get them down that way. That's not going to flee. Blast! Oh, fetters in the... okay. Strike. Aha. Uh -huh. Hey. Thank you, Heartless One. Can I pick it from the inside? I hate syringes. Luckily, I've developed an immunity to tetanus. I wonder what that stuff tastes like. I've only ever been injected right into the heart muscle so far. Hey. Okay.
Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Can I get the handcuffs back? <laughs> Probably not. Everything here has been a one-hit wonder so far. Where's my... Where's my... Oh, that's... Tree? It's the last tree left. I hope it doesn't croak. I mean, where would I test my herbicide? Wow. <laughs> one hit, one hit wonder. Anchors, metal boots, all the things. Hands off my stuff. <laughs> there isn't even one crumb left. Seems like I have to find my own ingredients. <laughs> Hands off my stuff. have some coffee somewhere around here would you since you've been staying with me I've only had decaf and even that is too strong maybe I should finally get rid of the coffee grinder it's just using up space like you I need some ingredients if there's nothing in the fridge you won't be getting anything else no I mean... End of discussion. Start earning your own money, and you'll be able to buy your own food. I've got to go. But... Hmm. 
What was that again about the... Their gift? You hand them in at the post. And no, you can't have... Then why are they called... Hands off my stuff. This is where Tony's budgie cage used to hang. But he couldn't cope with her, so he skedaddled. He died of old age. Yeah, whatever you say. After you accidentally infected him with progeria. Yeah, you know, I like my version better. Sure. Stop it! What exactly are you trying to pull off? I just thought it'd be good to take some of these mail-order coupons with me. Then I can use them to send all my friends on Deponia some, uh, hooks and, uh, lead weights, obviously. Uh, just like it says on these vouchers. Okay. First of all, you don't have any friends. Ouch. You are a self-centered egomaniac who doesn't give a bleep about anybody <laughs> apart from himself. Besides, what makes you think you could just walk in here and take things from my store? Couldn't I just pay you later? Pay me later? Pay me later? How the heck are you gonna pay me back, smartass? Or did you finally, after all these years, get a real job? Did you? Well, not exactly, but... Isn't it enough that I still let you live at my place? That I still feed you? And I guess you think you're thanking me by letting me get rid of all the junk and garbage you produce every day. Why am I still putting up with this? I mean, really, why do I still do it? It's not like we're still, oh, this sucks. My blood pressure. I have to meditate. Breathe in, breathe out. Ah, ouch, hey. Um, <laughs> um, ouch, look at that. Ah, <laughs> oh, such a tiny wound, and what a great pleasure. That is to say, wait a minute, you dirty rat. Did you try and steal hooks from me again? Tony, please, I'm bleeding to death here. If there was even the slightest bit of hope that you'll ever learn from your mistakes, I'd say, suit yourself. But unfortunately, you've proven once too often that you'll never learn. So here you go. Just take the key for the first aid kit and get out of my store. If you didn't nag all the time, maybe I'd be able to listen to what you're saying for a change. Hi. <sighs> Dill hole. Please God, let there be some sort of character development. I'm gonna go drill some holes in Wenzel's pipes. <laughs> Douche, now yet. Oh yeah. Well, there we go. Black powder.
I need coffee beans for the grinder, don't I? Oh, I guess I can put them in the grinder. There's just a fire going in Tony's house. Those post-it notes have been burning forever. What the fuck is the paper made of in whatever century this is? So I'm pretty sure I have to drill a hole in his pipe in the basement. Ugh, excuse me. And then uh, that's where I, that's how I get the water. So I don't drill a hole in his pipe in his basement. Right. She's just sitting there twiddling her thumbs. I can do that too. I mean, you know. It says the bathroom, but it's more like a kitchen. Who has a furnace in their bathroom? Honestly. never thought of that. Balloons to get laughing gas. What do you need the laughing gas for? The bull? Doesn't make sense. fire hydrant or the fire extinguisher for boy how often did people around me carry that thing
my own lockpick. <laughs> Consider the possibilities. I don't see what this will be good for. I mean, I already have enough holes in my teeth. Now, can I go drill holes in this pipe? <laughs> Let me drill holes in his pipe. Let me drill holes in his pipe. Let me drill holes in his pipe. To what end? This wasn't half as funny as I thought it would be. Can laughing gas even float? Should I go put water down his pipe, down his chimney? Where is his? I hate sure. Poor Wenzel, his tender heart will break when he finds out that the well in his basement isn't real. <laughs> Quick, I don't want to miss the moment. Maybe if you walked a little faster. Wenzel? I'm down here! Come quick! You won't believe your eyes! <laughs> Poor Wenzel still thinks he struck water down there. Instead, his cellar is simply flooded. <laughs> Bad luck. What's up, Wenzel? I struck water! Well, Wenzel, maybe you shouldn't get too excited. Sometimes you just think you struck water, and then it's just... Wait a second. You really struck water. Unbelievable, isn't it? I am rich! But that's impossible. And it's all thanks to you. Well, thanks to your father's divining rod. You are a true friend. You know what? You shared with me 
And now I'll share with you. Really? Of course. I share with you this very moment. The moment of triumph. Let's enjoy it together. What's that grinding noise? It's not my teeth. I see. I'm rich! There, I can see it clearly. Grit, and there's a dead beetle. Clear water. I don't want anything to do with Wenzel's stinking well. Get the damn water. I don't want anything to do with Wenzel's stinking well. <sighs> I don't want anything. I don't want any. You know what? Oh, right. It's like right there. That's my dad's divining rod. Hey, that's my... One. There are two, there are three lowest ones. signal. Take cover! Imminent blast! Report to what's this book? Gizmo? Where'd the rest of them go? Do I talk to Lottie? Oh. I would have earned the one, but I guess the sixty three will have to do. I believe you may very well want to congratulate me. The mayor 
was very excited to hear about my discovery. He believes the water vein might make Kulvac one of the three richest settlements in the southern quadrant. Right now, he's hearing one more applicant, but for now, it looks like I'll be the one. Goal is supposed to live at your place? Oh, don't make me laugh. What? Now that I have a water vein on my property, I'm one of the most influential people of Kuvac. And with an orbit pixie in my house, I might even become an honorary citizen. Who knows? One day, I might even follow in the footsteps of your father. But I was the one who saved her. And I'm the one who gave her shelter. Rufus, you don't even have a house. So how do you suppose you'll convince the mayor? Well, I, uh, I'm, uh, I'm... Next up, number 63, please. Hello, Lottie. You again? Uh, <clears throat> you, you again? Is it my turn already? Yes, it is. I already <coughs> called your number, didn't I? I'll skedaddle. Don't let the door hit you. It's like, no, you fool. Rufus, so how do you suppose you'll convince the mayor? Well, I, uh, I'm, uh, um. The post office will be open o'clock, o'clock. What o'clock? There's something missing here. I'm trying to. I tried. I clicked on it. Oh, there we go. Lotech, I have to talk to you. It's about. Lotech? What? Who's disturbing me? Whoa. Are you really sleeping in your desk? This is the mayor's traditional resting place. Before me, your father used to sleep in here. That was before he betrayed the community. <laughs> well, I can totally understand that. Well, he left you behind, too. Be, be that as it may, who sleeps in a desk anyway? Admittedly, the desk isn't aligned correctly with the planet's magnetic field, but your father had a device installed to correct that. What? What? Instead of just moving the desk, my dad preferred messing with the planet's magnetic field? Well, he was the most egocentric and stubborn person I've ever met. That's a lie! Oh, yeah? Why do you think he left you here? Because he didn't care about anyone but himself. Not even his own son. Not even for his own son. Pretty ironic that you've become just as egotistic as he was back then. Egotistic? Me? Ha! Just recently, I risked my own life to save a girl from the clutches of the Organon. Completely without ulterior motives, I suppose. You better believe it. My ass. You'll be surprised, Lotech. I will save the girl. And then everyone on this planet will realize how selfless I really am. But then it'll be too late, because then I'll already be sitting in some cocktail lounge in Elysium and laughing about you Elysium. fools and how you still have to live in this junkyard. You'll see. When does the post office open? Whenever I feel like it. I am the mayor, you know. What a stupid rule. That was your father's idea. Um, stupid, but not bad. Not, not bad at all.
I'm here for the Elysian girl. They all are, but you're too late. The hearing is over. Over? But it was me who found her. As far as I know, it was Hannick who found her. Well, I found her first. And you just left her lying there? Uh, no, it was uh, different. With your attitude, you wouldn't even stand a chance if the hearing wasn't over already. But I have to help her return to her world. To Elysium? <laughs> That's a good joke. You should know better than anyone else that there's no way to leave Deponia. Nothing that ends up on Deponia will ever leave again. My dad made it. That's neither probable nor verifiable. I know that's what you'd like to believe, but I believe it's more likely that your father ended up crashing into some trash heap. With your attitude, you wouldn't even stand a chance if the hearing wasn't over already. But, but I saved her life. I find that hard to believe, considering you're responsible for 90% of all injuries that happen in Kuvak. Well, but... 90% of those ha have been my own injuries. Listen, Rufus. Whenever chaos breaks out in Kuvak, you are responsible for it. As far as I know, you might even be responsible for that girl falling from the sky. Uh, no, it was uh, different. With your attitude, you wouldn't even... I'm starting to run out of good arguments here. Finally, there is a god. Are we done here? I really need to go to the assembly hall. No, that's it. Well, then just beat it. I need to get to the assembly hall. Hmm, I kind of know this symbol. It was on your trunk. What a pile of junk. Hey, that's Dad's water glass. I hardly ever saw him without it. He must have been worried about dehydration. If this is where the key to the world belongs, good night. I mean, I managed to lose the key to my front door all the time. There's a message from the mayor of Buzo Westfog. O O I C U R N E B O T. Huh? Either a cat was jumping up and down on the keyboard, or the operator must have gotten that all wrong. S O L O N G Y O U. E. Damn, where was I? One of the few long distance radio devices in this backwater town. Why are we paying an operator if nobody's ever making a call? I know why I don't pay taxes. Next, please. Hmm, guess I'm last in line. Whatever. Who could possibly succeed except for me? Huh, he's gone. Well, never mind. A gadget that manipulates the planet's magnetic field. Oh, this could have been my idea. A gadget that manipulates the planet's magnetic field. Oh, this could have been my idea. A 
hidden compartment? Well, looks like Dad's secret will see the light of day after all. Uh, can't you just will you come on? Take the fucking key. There you go. A cupboard. A key. My dad knew I'd be clever enough to find it. I wonder what I'd get for it if I melt it down. Well. Key to the booze cabinet. Right. This might be unnecessarily complicated, but I'm certain Dad wanted to make sure that I'm the only one who could get this far. Get to his big secret. His legacy. His liquor cabinet. That smell reminds me of some of the dad's aftershave lotion. Ugh. This tastes like the cough syrup that dad used to give me when I was too noisy. I have to grind these together to get the coffee powder. Coffee powder? I did get into the car. Oh, I need the battery. Ha! Huh. I couldn't get the battery out though. I don't have like a wrench or anything anymore. are one hit wonders so I was a mite concerned I want the battery acid, and I have a dentist drill. <laughs> That's almost too convenient. Ah! Ow! <laughs> yeah! Ow! Should I put it in the glass? got what I needed. The rest can add to the groundwater. Good job, Rufus. Ugh. This tastes like the cough syrup that Dad used to give me when I was... All right. Ha-ha! <laughs> I've siphoned the acid without injuring myself. I'll drink to that. Blech. Rich water? That is not how that works. Alright, I need revitalizing liquid and clear water. <laughs>
Sorry, yeah. Because there's a delay between what you type. I, I can respond to your typing almost instantly, but there's a delay. So my response to your typing gets to you after like 10 seconds, 10, 20 seconds, which is a long time in video games. Isn't that squeak? You have to be age 12 or old. Oh, well, that's better, but it's still pretty boring. The bull's spirits really need to be pumping before I ride it. Hey. Hey. Wait, hold on. Actually, I'm in, I'm in the wrong way. I'm in the wrong area. Curtains, really? What do I need the curtains for? Lonzo's been trying his luck as a handyman. Cute. Toro! Hey, I said Toro! What what good is it being the best of matadors if the bull isn't even looking? Aw, does that upset you? Well, <laughs> an accomplished matador like me knows how to bring the blood of a bull to a boil. Or whatever liquid it is that's pumping through those tubes. One more time. <laughs> Draw blood from an enraged bull? <laughs> Child's play. Device. Ah, the blood mode. Well, it's still below my class, but at least the taurine tanks are open now. Taurine? Oh my god. You gonna get over yourself and go take Wendell's water? in the needle. A textbook example of reviving and clear water. A textbook example of reviving and Example of reviving and clear water. Doesn't do anything except say that.
There, I can see it click grit. <laughs> I don't want anything to do with Wenzel's stinking... Oh. Hmm. The water's still lacking something reviving. Cool. I already have the special water, at least. To the grinder! Terrific. The rotten smell from Sector 9 isn't so disgusting today. There isn't even one crop. Seems like I have... One whole chili. A pinch of black powder. I'll call this blend Rufus Reckless, the Maiden Slayer. <laughs> Or savior. Hmm. No, slayer sounds much better. God damn it. To the alley! to the hall. <laughs> So I think I need to put the monstrosity that I just ground into the water. I have the water. I have the powder. Yeah. Let's visit Lonzo. Why not? Poor Lonzo. He'll be lost without me when I'm... Uh, what exactly am I supposed to do? It's all written down on the recipe I gave you. Just bring me everything that's on the list. Till then, I'll do some fine tuning on the espresso machine. Okay. About the powder. Tell me. I have some blackish powder. Good. But this isn't black powder, right? Mm, no. I'm just saying because that would be extremely dangerous and... No, no. I got it. Really, this is just powder, which happens to be black in color, just like the recipe says. Good. I have stimulants. That's good. Did Dr. Gizmo give you some? Well, Gonzo. not exactly, but he had some, standing around unprotected in a tightly locked medicine cabinet. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Doesn't matter. If you say so. 
I found a hot bean. That's a chili pepper. Yes, but it's almost bean-shaped. See, don't, don't you see? It's hot, and the only fruit around. Close enough, I guess. Don't worry. I'll manage. Hurry up. I can't wait to fire up this sweet machine for a test brew. Uh, about the water. Keep it flowing. I have clean water. What? Really? Yes. Here it is. This can be water. It's too clean. What else could it be? I don't know. Look, let's just go ahead and try this. The last time you said that, I lost my big toe. Why are you always complaining? You still have one left, haven't you? I brought some energy-rich liquid. Is that battery acid? Mm, maybe. Who are we brewing this stimulant for again? For the love of my life. Well, for her sake, I hope that your life doesn't last too long. I have some revitalizing liquid. Really? What is it? Well, this stuff made the mechanical bull outside the town gate come to life. A red and invigorating liquid extracted from a bull. We should give it a name. I have one. I have one. <laughs> red Rufus the Wonder Juice. You think that's a good idea? I thought... Red Rufus the Wonder Juice. All right, whatever. Don't worry, I'll manage. Hurry up, I can't wait to... F this looks pretty daring. It is. Great, that's what I wanted to hear. I'll be off then, getting all the... You do that. I Lonzo must have waited very long for this historic day. He should have asked me earlier. I have the water. I have, yeah. So, I have the powder already. Into the tank you go. Well, that's it. I found all the ingredients. Wonderful! I can't even tell you how excited I am to see what happens next. Y but I thought we were making espresso. Yes, you are right. This is an august moment, my friend. We shouldn't spoil it by worrying about the pressure within the nuclear core structure. Pressure within the nuclear core structure? Hear me, gods of our forefathers. Oh Using God. just the most refined ingredients and the highest possible compression, we beseech thee, open the gates to the espresso verse. Holy smoke. More pressure! More pressure! Okay. Uh, okay. Dead feels completely different. Ugh. As you know, I have gazed deep into death's eyes more than once in my life. Oh, now that you mention it, that reminds me. Is Tony still wearing those contact lenses? Oh my gosh. Something's happening. Brew is going to do the job. Lonzo. Ah, Rufus. Did you come to help me clean this place up? Well, you know, I got this thing going on. I'll come back later, okay?
I suggest not to move her in this condition. What kind of condition is she in? I still don't understand. I mean, is she dead? No, no. Her body is alive and well. It's her consciousness. It's inactive. So, she's asleep? Well, it's a bit more complicated than that. I think it's related to this implant. It's broken. A consciousness implant? Isn't there a switch or something? A fuse? Maybe the contacts are corroded. That's what always happens with my intercom. I already tried everything, but this is Elysian technology. I have no idea how it's being used. I don't even have the appropriate screwdriver. So, uh, when can I finally take her home? She needs to wake up first. Okay, okay, I see. This situation needs to be resolved through a government decision. Jesus. Let's do it like this. If you manage to wake her up, you can have her. And what happens if I wake her up? Rufus! You're not even supposed to be here. But I have a plan. Oh, I've heard about your plans. You never think things through. Everything you do ends in chaos, and most likely with an explosion. <laughs> we'll see about that. I warn you, stay away from the girl. Yeah, no, it's pretty, you know, out there. Go. <laughs> I'll bet Fire Officer Gizmo would like that. I'll keep that idea in mind. Blossom. Fine. Hey, go, go, wait. <laughs> Very good. Oh. Oh, what's that stinging smell? That's medicine. Says who? Says I. And who's the doctor here? <laughs> you tell me. Let's say it together. Me. me. It's a draw. Best out of three. You. Me. You. Ha! Ah, I win. Here we have fire. Here we have a box. Seriously? I just did that. What's that funny smell? Ah, fire! The town hall's on fire! Fire control mode activated. Firefighter Gizmo at your service. Where is the fire? Over there! The chamber's on fire! Good lord! Don't worry. Your fire will be extinguished in no time. Expert like me can do without such gadgets. I have. <laughs> Finally, I was getting worried I'd have to camp in the cupboard forever. Whoop! Where was I? Ah, yes. Medical mode activated. Doctor Gizmo at your service. How's the patient? I'd say her condition hasn't changed. Leave the diagnosis to the doctor, will oh you? Oh my god. Now, oh, just where is it? My stethoscope, it's gone! Thieves! Crime in progress! Police mode activated. Officer Gizmo at your service. No one leaves the crime scene. Am I supposed to throw it? Oh, I Am I supposed to throw it? Ah. Ah, but Rufus! You're not untouchable, Lotech. Don't you ever forget that. Oh my god. That's enough. I think you're done. Uh, come on, Gizmo. You have more important things to do. Don't tell me how to do my work. Or are you just trying to divert my attention from your guilt? What? 
That's simply... Aha! Here is the missing clue. The last piece that completes the puzzle. The mystery of the thieving mayor has finally been solved. Thieving mayor? How dare you? Put up your hands, Lothek. I have no intention of lifting my hands. You better do what I say. I don't want to. You don't have any choice. I don't? Well, you're fired. You can't fire me. You're arrested. You can't arrest me. You're fired. But I arrested you first. So what? You're fired anyway. You can't fire me. You're arrested. You can't arrest me. You're fired. But I arrested you first. So what? You're fired anyway. You can't fire me. You're Almost arrested. There. I just have to make sure You can't that arrest me. Spill. You're fired. But I arrested you first. So what? You're fired anyway. You can't fire me. You're arrested. You can't arrest me. You're fired. But I arrested you first. So what? You're fired anyway. You can't fire me. You're arrested. You can't arrest me. You're Almost fired. There. I, just but have to I sure arrested that I you don't first. Spill so what? You're fired anyway. You can't fire me. You're arrested. Almost you there. can't arrest me. There. You're I fired. Just... But I arrested okay. you first. So what? You're fired anyway. You can't fire me. You're arrested. You can't arrest me. You're fired. But I arrested you first. Oh. Ah. So what? You're fired anyway. You can't fire me. You're arrested. You can't arrest me. You're fired. But I arrested you first. So what? You're fired anyway. You can't fire me. You're arrested. You can't arrest me. You're fired. But I arrested you first. So what? <laughs> ha! Oh, oh. What happened? You woke the stranger, the Elysian girl, and then Sorry, what? knocked out. Dole? Where is she? What? How is she? She's still a bit confused. What? I think her implant was seriously damaged by the fall. She is conscious now, but she's just talking gibberish. Can I talk to her? Of course. She's lying over there. I took her into medical custody. Just don't stress her out too much. First and foremost, she needs rest now. No problem. Thanks, Doctor. Hmm. Goal? It's me, your savior. Huh? No, it, it's Rufus. Mm. Yes. What? You can give me any name you like, babe. Say, did it hurt a lot when you fell from the sky? <laughs> uh, well, come on, that was funny. Nah. Because, I mean, you you really fell from the sky, you know, like an angel. <laughs> Just like in the in the pickup line. <laughs> d d d you get it? Hello? Anyone home? <laughs> I'll take that as a yes no, okay, with no, limitations. No. Get a hold of yourself. So, so, so Guadeloupe? Yeah, she's attractive and fun to talk to. Ah, uh, flash dash kazash? Sally, <laughs> mm, um, good old granny. Grumblump? Fuzzle false. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> Munch crunch. Munch crunch. It's like a tick tock. Oh! Knock knock. Heck, this is totally useless. That woman is completely nuts. Bonkers, wonkers, wonkers. Oh, what did I expect anyway? That she would take me to Elysium? Elysium. We need to go back to Elysium. What did you just say? Horrible things. The Organon betrayed us. Quick. We need to go back. To Elysium. 
Yes, yes. You, you, you remember what happened? Is that you, Cletus? What? No, I'm not. M my name is Rufus. I saved you. Rufus? I don't understand. Where am I? Y you had a pretty bad fall. The doctor says that you're hallucinating. That's confusing, but... <sighs> I need to get to Cletus. Can you take me to him? Who is Cletus? My fiancé. Aha! Well, I don't know. Maybe you are safer down here. Oh my After god. After all, you... He'll reward you generously. Oh, that, uh, generously, you say? Try to contact Cletus. He will search for me. Yeah, yeah. How generous exactly is generous? Maybe you can reach him using a radio. He's certainly trying to find me. Do you really think that's a good idea? I mean, for a fiancé, he didn't really make much of an effort to protect you. Rufus, please. You're the only one I can trust. Yeah, that sounds about right. I really am the only one you can trust. The only one. And you already proved that you're of noble character. Mm-hmm. The burden of the hero. But let's get back to the expression, generous. Rufus, please. Contact Cletus. I would be so very thankful. So very, very thankful. Uh, I'm sorry. I don't know if I can do that. Can someone tomo polo lollipop? Peekaboo. But. Utam swadikoso loka shootipop. The burden of the hero. Why do I always have to be so infinitely generous? Hello, Dr. Gizmo. Ah, Rufus! Does your head still hurt? The only thing that hurts is the fact that I'm still trapped in this junkyard. I'm afraid I don't have any medicine for that. Except maybe a word of advice. This. Here is your life. Accept it. So, what's up with Go? Well, I think it's her implant. It was damaged in the fall. Goal needs to return to Elysium. Very funny. Nothing that lands on the... But then, what's going to happen to her? The mayor decided that she'll stay here with us, in Kovac. And I think that's a very reasonable decision. In her condition, I wouldn't want her to travel, even if the destination were easier to reach than Elysium. I'll be back. Wonderful. I can't wait to see you again. <laughs> I keep wanting to use my keyboard. This is strictly point and click. <sighs> to the radio! please one of the few long-distance radio devices in this backwater town why are we paying I know why I don't pay taxes now yeah, the planet's magnetic field seems to be working all right here no need to adjust I still have that There's a message from the mayor of Buzo Westfog. O O I C U R N E B O T. Huh? Either a cat or jumping. This technology is a catastrophe. What 
I'm planning if it really is worth a headline. But I don't want to let the cat out of the bag. Hello, Lottie. You again? <laughs> you, you again? Do you know where I can make a radio call? You should talk to the operator. You'll find him at the post office. But the post office is closed. Well, I guess in that case, my suggestion was a bit of a letdown, wasn't it? I'll skedaddle. Don't let the door hit you. The post office will be open o'clock. O'clock? What o'clock? There's something missing here. I've waited long enough. Now it's time to go the whole hog, for which I have plenty of time. <laughs> time for a different maneuver. Retrieve my funnel. Yeah, I, <laughs> I I thought I still had it in my inventory, which is weird because almost all of it, all of everything is a one hit wonder. So get it. Right. I still have the espresso for some reason. Possibly I'll need to wake that guy up at some point, and the espresso will be necessary. I think the post office is open. Me, oh my. I think. Yeah, right. You didn't expect that now, did ya? <laughs> no. No, right? <laughs> Where can I make a radio call? Outgoing radio calls can be made from every registered private radio device. Where would I find one of these registered private devices? There is no radio device registered for long distance calls. What's that supposed to mean? It has to be possible to make outgoing calls somehow. Not while using a private radio device. Are there other radio devices registered? There are three registered devices for local calls. One is situated in the mayor's office, another at the front desk counter in the town hall. The communication system of the emergency station is the third one. But it's only possible to make internal calls from there? Well, that's perfect. Are there absolutely no long distance devices? There are no long distance devices except the listening post of the post office and the reserve system in the vault. Well. So there are two of them after all. Both devices are not cleared for public use. Damn.
see you later. Well, I hope it knows what it's doing. A bit too slow or a bit too fast, and whoops-a-daisy, the package gets the wrong postage. Hey, Yoo-Hoo, hello. Hmm? Yeah? What's up? How's work? Everything's calm here, except for those strange radio calls from this Cletus or something. I haven't had any work at all this morning. Cletus? That was a call from me. I have to talk to him at once. No chance, Bubba. The radio station is meant for postal services personnel only. You shouldn't even be up here. Don't you get tired at some point? <laughs> You're messing with me, right? This is Kuvak. I'm as chilled out as can be. What? Pray tell? Should wear me out here? Well, uh, maybe looking that stupid? Nice pigeons. Our messenger pigeons? Yeah, those are magnificent creatures, aren't they? <laughs> if you like contagious diseases. Did you know they take their bearings from the planet's magnetic field? Really? Uh how do you know? I once tied strong electromagnets around their necks. The fools immediately flew the wrong way. Is that so? Yeah, straight towards this rusty mountain of metal over there. <laughs> You're not too busy up here, are you? I have to make an urgent call. Uh-huh. And what, pray tell, has that got to do with me? Well, you're the one with the radio. Keep your hands off. This device is for postal service personnel only. You can transmit till you've got foam coming out of your ears if you want to. But you're not using this device. Capiche? Well, can I at least borrow your headphones? Are you mad? I need those for work. I'll be going then. You do that. You shouldn't be here anyway. I totally agree. Gadget that manipulates the planet's magnetic field. Well, this could have been my idea. Well, the pigeons get their bearings from the planet's magnetic field, right? So let's see what happens if I start fiddling with this a bit. <laughs> I love to play God. I'll leave it like this for now. Maybe this helps. I'm as deadly as a poison dart frog, but much cooler. A poison dart, um... I mean, I knew that I'd have to make a tranquilizer dart at some point. Uh. <laughs> but no, there are people who deserve that more than him.
I'll leave it like this for now. Maybe this helps. Oh, Tony. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why, but I thought that guy's name was Tony. No, he's just the operator. All right. would make an excellent blowpipe. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> That's a great idea and a sufficiently safe distance. getting mad at anyway. Strike! Wow. Hey, Tony, I'll just grab a couple of these vouchers, okay? And while we're at it, can you do the dishes this week? <laughs> I like Tony much better this way. <laughs> I was beginning to fear that her body had adapted to tranquilizers. <laughs> oh, uh, by the way, I used your family pictures to insulate a weather balloon. Just a moment. What? Did you mention... Weather balloons? No, no, no. I said uh, vouchers. Will, will you look at those those nifty vouchers? <laughs> Keep your hands off. I've counted them. Creepy. There's a lot wrong there. state your business. What's that scratching noise? Is that coming from behind the hatch? Yes, it's the Postal Service replacement cat scratches you catch. The scratching from behind the hatch matches that of Postal Service replacement cats exactly? It's the unlatched Postal Service replacement cat's hatch. Wow. <laughs> I want to place a forwarding request. State the reason for your forwarding request. Well, I'll be living in Elysium in the future. Self-importance error. May I enter the vault? Over the corroded remains of my wrecked body. <laughs> I think I can arrange that. <laughs> Postal service replacement cats. 
<laughs> That's cute. Not quite useful. I have to replace the regular Postal Service cats when they catch dirt. But don't you have to clean the unlatched Postal Service replacement cats hatch? I do have to clean the unlatched Postal Service replacement cats hatch, but there's an unmatched catch. So what's the unmatched catch with the unlatched Postal Service replacement cats hatch? I have to dispatch the batch of Postal Service replacement cats from the unlatched Postal Service replacement cats hatch to a latched Postal Service replacement catch backup hatch. Holy moly. See you later. That was awesome. <laughs> Should I blow up the hatchery? that manipulates the magnetic it's not actually a magnet it's a device that manipulates magnetic anyway I'm like what do I need those magnets for to the hatchery the vouchers on that guy. Yeah, probably. No, you gotta do that. I'll do it, all right? Let me figure it out. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I couldn't make head or tails of this thing. The only things he knows his way around are those, uh, those thingies over there. <laughs> the point is, he's not quite the Renaissance man I am. There's only one button. Oh. I'll leave it like this for now. Maybe this helps. They're all very angry. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's a good question. Is there a reset? Skip? <laughs> you can skip it? <laughs> How does he skip it? When I first put it here, that's going to be hard because I don't remember exactly how it went. Ha <laughs> ha 
This is like destroying Heartless One. <laughs> He's like, no, let me tell you what to do. <laughs> I'll leave it like this for now. Maybe this helps. You need to have the smallest pigeon go to the middle hole. Okay. So, yeah. All right. So the middle one has to have one. And I did. I... That's how you solve things, is you click on them. Look, the smallest one is in the middle hole.
I'll leave it like this for now. Maybe this helps. Achievement unlocked. That seems about right. What does that mean? I can sort my pigeons without your help. <laughs> Hold on a second. I'm viewing my achievements. Oh, that's it. That's all it says. Okay. Hey, Yoo-Hoo. Hello. Hmm. Yeah. What's up? Yeah. I'll be going then. You do that. He shouldn't be here anyway. I totally agree. I've got these gift vouchers from Tony's shop. Gift vouchers verified. One light lead wick from storeroom one. Supply your address now. Where, where, where to? I mean, what? I, I, I don't know. That's a good question. Address verified. What? Dispatch initiated. Postage being scanned. Postage correct. One light package for dispatch. Pigeon from small pigeon hole is being dispatched. to uh, do this puzzle until the thing is empty. So that I can grab what appears to be a toothbrush. Well, I should probably save. What time is it? 10.35? the thing that told you what your goals were. Right now I'm trying to make a call. I think that's the only thing that I have goals-wise. Let's see.
I'll leave it like this for now. Maybe this helps. Ah, oh, man. Doesn't give you anything. That's dumb. I'll leave it like this for now. Maybe this helps. Well, I guess I'll just go to Tony's house. Let's see what's up. Hasn't burned down the house yet, I see. Like always, there's only junk on TV. <laughs> I love how annoyed you are. Gives me life. And Tony keeps complaining that I don't do enough housework. Ouch! Damn it! That's hot! Good. Actually, okay. So, I think I'm going to stop there for tonight. I'm just going to save. Getting a little sleepy. That's probably the milk. You know, there's, there's tryptophan in milk. It makes you sleepy. Anyway, I'll pick this up again tomorrow morning. Um... But, uh, thanks for coming with me and suffering through, uh, Heartless One's, uh, frustration with my antics. The 
ambient noise from outside my bedroom. And the lack of commentary. Man, I was so boring tonight. <sighs> I blame the milk. Oh, sweet Jesus. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to sleep. Or I'm going to zone out and play Peggle for four hours and then get some sleep. I don't know. Either or. Doesn't matter. I'll, uh, I'll be back tomorrow morning. Probably 10, 10.30. Depends on whether or not I get up at 9 or 9.30 for coffee. Anyway. Aw, uh, too bad. Yeah, well. Enjoy work, heartless one. Enjoy. I, too, will be enjoying work. Anyway. See y'all uh, tomorrow morning. Bye.